Hello and welcome to another episode of Super Kali Funnelistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today I'm going to show you how you can add share buttons into your email templates when using ClickFunnels Actionetics. For this, we're gonna jump right to my MacBook screen by the push of a button and you see how it looks like in one of the emails we are sending. It would also be possible to put those icons next to each other using multiple columns, but for some reason I set it up like this. Now, what we are going to do in order to accomplish this, we are going to use a service called Addis that has a certain page online where we can find a link down in the description below where all you have to do is enter the URL that you want to promote. For example, let's go quickly to our Keto funnel and copy the URL and the title, how it should look up or how it should uh, show up when, when it's shared. Get your free Keto, oh yeah, keto recipes. And you can ignore the ID. This should be automatically filled if you have an at this account and you're logged in. It may be required that you create an at this account. So just to mention that, but uh, no need to worry, the at this account is free. So what you have to do next is pretty much you pick the service that you want to offer for sharing. In that case, I would only offer like Facebook and Twitter, for example, but you see you have a broad selection of tools here that you can integrate and you click on generate code. Now you're gonna get a messy code here and unfortunately you will not be able to add the code as it is. So you will need to copy it and you will need to take a text document, yeah, and put in all that code. Now I don't wanna update the software right now. So when you, when you have that code, you will see the first part here where it says A-H-R-E-F equals quotes. That's the link that we're going to use, yeah? And it goes till the end quotes here. So that would be the link. And then you see the image and the source of the image, that would be the Facebook icon, yeah? So you need those parts out of the code that you got and you need to do the same thing with the code from Twitter. Now within ClickFunnels, you would go to your existing email or in that case, I'm quickly gonna create a new email step in this demo follow-up funnel and we call this add this and click email message and you will have to pick a sending address and add this and a name and define your rules if you want to filter and you go to next and on the next step you need to enter a subject line almost yeah and a prehead header and pick one of the templates either one of the system templates or in my case i'm going to pick one of our existing templates here and we go to edit email. Now what we need to do here is basically we need to start with the image URL for the Facebook icon and wherever you want that to appear. You could, for example, add a new row and make it a, yeah, I need to scroll there, a two column row. And now we would have two columns and we would say we add a new image here and this image is going to be the Facebook image and it's 32 times 32 pixel, and we're gonna align it center in this column. Now we also need the URL, and as said, we take the URL that we extracted from the code, and we simply put it into the URL field, and voila, you have your share button for Facebook. Now, you could create another one column that says uh, share this above, or you could create a text specifically and say like, uh, uh, I don't know, share on Facebook, and again, if you scroll up a little, so you see the text formatting tools, you can format it and you can then obviously also drag it above the image. And if you want, you could change the spacing. Yeah. The Mac screen is a little too small, so I need a bit, little bit of scrolling. And as you see, we would have this share on Facebook and we could now simply copy that image, put it here and the other column and also copy the text, put it here and would write here share on Twitter. And we then go to our document again and again get the link. So the first part of the code for Twitter and we modify the image and change the link and then also get the image source for the Twitter logo as you can see here and update the image source here. And voila, that's all it takes and you would have those two share buttons in your email. I'm actually gonna save this real quick, close it, 
and move forward so we can send ourselves a test email to see how it works review for sending and i'm gonna send myself a test email now it may take a moment before it arrives i have my mail program on the other screen but we will hopefully see it in a second please bear with me for that time and yeah while we wait for that email so you can see how it actually works and how it looks like once it arrives now why would you want to in the meantime while we're waiting like why would you want to create something or add something like this in your emails for example when you give away your free lead magnet um whatever it is or like we are doing here with our free recipes you want to point out to people like why don't you share it with your friends don't be selfish and if only one in 100 people clicks on the button and shares it with shares it with his average um 300 to 500 facebook friends um you actually already you actually already won because it means you will get additional traffic without the need of um paying for advertising now the email just arrived so i'm going to switch back to the screen and when we scroll down we will see that we have our share on facebook and share on twitter links when we click on that it opens the at this dialog for sharing and it would look like this for facebook and like this for twitter and as you can see or as you saw before you have a broad selection of other services that you can share to including obviously share via email share on amazon however that works yeah um share on bit.li share on blogger and so on share on buffer for people that use buffer for social media scheduling so there's really a ton of different services and in the end it's up to you to define which services you want to use in your emails but it's really an easy way for you to get these share links in there and after that you can obviously save your email as a template so the next time when you create an email you already have these buttons in there however you would need to update the share url every time for the images if you want them to share something else yeah if you always want them to share the same website well then you can just keep it unchanged but obviously if you wanted to share a different website you also need to update the the code the link or not the link the yeah the link of the of the image yeah so that's pretty much it i hope this helps again check out the link below it will take you to the website where you can just fill in the the title and the link and you pick the services and you will get the code to work with and if you have any questions whatsoever comment down below or ask within our Facebook group. I hope this video helps. Till then, see you tomorrow with another video, I would say. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. If it provided you with any value whatsoever, don't forget to like it by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And also to ensure you don't miss out any future content, go ahead right now and click on the subscribe button down below. Now, last but not least, the only thing left for you to do is actually pick which of the following two videos you wanna see next, and I'll see you there.